My name's Grenville Bates, I work for Champion. Today we're going to look at fitting a hat on Karen here, my lovely Hi. assistant. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is actually measure Karen's head to see what size she is. When you put the tape measure around someone's head, you want the back of the tape measure here to actually on the bottom part of the skull and come over the top of the ears and just above the eyebrows. And you'll, you don't pull it tight, just have it comfortable and you can see you've got a measurement there of just fractionally over 59 centimetres. You would then take that measurement to your size chart and convert it into a hat size. In this particular case that would be a seven and a quarter. So we're going to put this dazzle seven and a quarter on Karen's head and just check that it does fit properly. <coughs> So we want it to sit just above the eyebrows, so as we're giving bottom edge protection. And if we just gently lift it, you'll see it raises the eyebrows up and down, which indicates we've got a nice snug fit. But there is one area where we just would like a small gap, which is just on the temples there, and the same on the other side. The reason for that is you have a main archery that's close to the surface there, and we don't want to put any pressure on that. So if you'd like to turn around for me, Karen. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually do the lacing up tight at the back of the neck here. When you're just fitting for somebody to have, go and have a look at what the hat looks like, I would recommend you just do a bow, because obviously that's easier to undo. But if the customer is going to buy the hat, that needs to be a double knot so as it doesn't slip. Once we've done that, we can do up under the chin. And we want that to be comfortably tight under the chin, so we'd only like sort of finger between the chin and the harness. Once we've done that, there's just one other thing to do. And point out to the customer <coughs> that we've got two rubber grommets on here. One of them must go up underneath there like that. That is there purely to act as a jammer so there's no slippage through the, the buckle. The other one we can use as a keeper.